As society progresses, in some cases, it feels as though men in the household are really pitching in more when it comes to the domestic part of our lives, right? Whether it's cooking, cleaning, but to what extent? Well, a new survey from Pew Research confirmed what most Americans, specifically women in America, probably already knew. <laughs> Wives do more of the domestic work even when they make just as much money as their partners or in some cases even make more money than their partners. Unsurprisingly, in the past few decades, a growing percentage of wives play the role of primary or sole breadwinner in opposite sex marriages. And that's what this survey is about. So let's get to the details, let's get to what we found. If you look at this graph, I'll explain what it indicates. So in 55% of opposite sex marriages, men are still the primary or sole breadwinners earning a median of $96,000 to their wives, $30,000. Now in 16% of marriages these days, the wives out earn their husbands as the primary or sole breadwinner compared to just 5% back in 1972. 29% of married couples make the same or similar amounts of money. And across all opposite sex marriages in 2022, the median earnings for wives were $35,000 while husbands earned a median of $65,000. So with that important background information on this, what's going on domestically with the housework? Well, even when wives earn the same amount of money or even more than their husbands, they're still doing more of the work domestically. Okay, so husbands in egalitarian marriages spend about 3.5 hours more per week on leisure activities than wives do. Wives in these marriages spend roughly two hours more per week on caregiving than husbands do and about 2.5 hours more on housework. In marriages though, where wives are the primary earners, Husband's leisure time actually increases even more significantly compared with egalitarian marriages, while the time they spend on caregiving and housework stays about the same. So, Cenk, are you surprised by this? And look, there are outliers. Like, let me be clear I'm sure that there are some men out there who might be watching this and they're like, no, that's not how it is in our household. I hear you. This is just broadly speaking, on average, what tends to happen. Yeah, and a lot of times people catch feelings when they're and when we talk about averages, right? No, that's the whole point of an average. There's tons of outliers, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I like to think that I'm an outlier in this and 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 um, and but but the averages hold and and averages are real. Uh, and so look, this is actually not that surprising because we're in the middle of a transition, a cultural transition. In the old days, uh, women did all the housework and, and men did all the work outside the home in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then obviously it started to transition, right? So 50 years ago, 85% uh, of the families had the man as the primary breadwinner. Now it's down to 55%. So it's, it doesn't happen overnight and this will continue for another 50 years and then we'll get some sort of balance. But the problem is that we still have the cultural software from the old days. Mm. There's an expectation that women do more of the housework, more of the caregiving for kids, etc. Um, but in the egalitarian marriages where they're working just as hard outside the home, and by the way, as we've covered many times on the actors, largely because they have to. Both uh, you know, the husband and the wife have to work in most marriages because it's so hard to earn enough money in America to, to get by. So now they're both working their asses off, they get home and a guy gets three and a half hours extra leisure time and the woman gets four and a half hours extra work time. And by the way, the most pain in the ass work there is. So I've got, you know, I'm in a family, I got two kids, we got a house, etc., right? And so the housework sucks uh, and, and taking care of the kids, well, it's rewarding in a lot of ways, but also not easy, right? So on top of your hard job, women have to do another four and a half hours of work and watch the guy do another three and a half hours of leisure. And that is, that's a tough pill to swallow, guys. It sure is. <laughs> that's all Anna has to say about that. No, so my, and so Just what do we do? pick up a vacuum. Pick up the vacuum. Mm -hmm. Do the laundry once in a while, right? Like it speaks volumes and your wife very likely would like a little bit of leisure time. 
Maybe some time to go to the gym, maybe some time to go to a spa and get a massage and just decompress. I guarantee you it'll actually improve your marriage as well, right? Yeah. To give your partner a break. And yeah, I do think that this is, I don't think this is because men are bad. I don't think that this is like, oh, men are so evil, they expect women to do everything. No, no, no. I think what you're saying, Jenk, your theory is absolutely correct. That the culture is starting to change. And some of the conditioning from back in the day, like we're still feeling the like residue of that, if if you will, right? So I think that men mean well, but one other thing that I've personally experienced, you know, not just in my own relationship, but in communicating with men in general, you just have to be very honest, upfront, and clear in your communication and yeah. let them know exactly what you're looking for. So this is my advice to some of the women who might be watching. I think one of the mistakes I make in particular is just kind of like assuming that he knows what I need him to do, right? Like he sees he sees that the trash is full. Like he he But no, like you just have to say it, right? Like I need you to help me by vacuuming today. Mm-hmm. And more often than not, in my case 100% of the time, awesome, I got it. I'll take care of it. You know, so it's mm-hmm. you can improve the situation by enhancing communication. Yeah. There are not a lot of guys out there who voluntarily pick up the vacuum without being asked. I'm being honest. No, it's that true. That includes me. Yeah, okay. it's true. And guys, so look, easy answer here. I think if you care enough to, to try to balance things out, do trades, right? So for example, I hate vacuuming. Why do I hate vacuuming? The carpet always gets scrunched up and then the cord gets tied around. Oh, you and gotta I'm, get cordless, Cenk. You I got, know, I it'll know. It'll change your life. I got you, but I'm a spaz and I don't like it. It drives me crazy, right? So what did I, what did I do? I trade, I, I, so I picked up the dishes and the bathroom. Nobody wants to do the bathroom, right? The minute you say I'll do the bathroom, you're gonna get a lot back in a trade, okay? Oh yeah, you're gonna get laid. <laughs> like, let's just keep it real. You're, we were willing to scrub the toilet. You get lucky tonight. Okay, well, so good. Just keeping it 100. All right, so God bless. But my point is, of course, of course, jump in there and help. And look, on the nurturing front, look, I get it. You know, some people think it's much more natural for the mom to nurture, and that there's a lot of logic in that, and there's a lot of sense in that. And by the way, in the beginning, it's not optional. The, uh, the mom has to nurse the baby, so they have a lot more work that is necessary on top. So that's why you should go even further out of your way to try to help. And by the way, so like if you say, hey, you know what? Since she's got to do that nurturing or wants to do that nurturing, and I want her to do that nurturing, okay, so then I'm gonna work more and she could work a little less. And those are the compromises that allow people to go forward and have healthy relationships. As a society, we just gotta think about this a little differently. We're getting there, not really getting there quick enough though. And steel man your partner. And what that means is assume that they have the best intentions. And they're not doing anything out of malice, right? If you start the conversation from there, you can only win, right? Because you trust each other and you're communicating what your needs are and your needs might be met by taking that route instead of like waiting until you're so resentful that it starts a fight. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.